Hey guys, it's your Sue, and today I reviewed the Shingyon Lego Black Iron Man Armor Mark 15. So, this is the box itself right here, and as you can see, it's recommended for just 6 and up, and this is set 1235-1, comes with 25 pieces, and you have the box art itself, which looks pretty nice, and you have the figure without uh, all the armor, and yeah, so this is the side, it shows you the instructions, and... The other side, nothing too interesting. This is top, this is the bottom, and finally, this is the back. They show you all of the other suits that's included in the same set, but they never show you which mark they are. So they have different colored versions of the armors, and yeah, they all look really, really nice. So, yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for the box. So this is the Iron Man Mark 15 without all of the armor pieces. So I'll show you all of them later, but yeah, let's start with this figure first. So it's a very, very detailed figure actually. And yeah, let's start with the head. So the head, you have the hair piece itself, which is really nice that they have included it. And you have uh, Tony Stark's face right there with the heads up display. And yeah. Uh, I think Shingon did a much better job at printing a face onto a black headpiece than LEGO ever did because yeah, if you see a lot of people are complaining that LEGO did a really bad job at printing skin tone uh, printing onto black heads but um, I do like the heads up display detailing right here it looks really cool and for the torso printing you know you have the arc reactor you have all the arm pieces you have this silver part right here which does have kind of a shine right there and yeah you have the leg printing which looks really nice as well and yeah, he does come with the studs, but not the cylinder pieces though. But yeah, you have a side arm printing, which is really nice. And this is the back torso printing. Looks really nice as well. And yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for the Iron Man Mark 15 minifigure. So this is the Iron Man Mark 15 fully armored up and does have a lot of accessories. And yeah, one of them is an armor stand and this is how it looks like with armor on it and it only holds two of the armor pieces which is the helmet and also the chest plate and yeah it has this transparent piece under there which is a very nice looking piece so yeah and continuing on you have the flame thrower right here which is uh, cool but it's out of place and there's also the gauntlet right here which I just accidentally removed but yeah it has uh, some design on it not much and yeah for the boots there's a design on it to match with the figures printing and yeah it's just a uh, lines you know you have the you have some on the side and you have some on the back and you also have uh, the helmet and also the chest plate which is uh, basically the main highlight of the figure so uh, the helmet here you have uh, all of the blue highlights and you have uh, all of the Iron Man helmet uh, shaping it looks pretty cool and yeah you can't open this visor by the way and it doesn't have blue eyes which does kind of suck you also have the chest plate right here which is in chrome it's uh, pretty cool um, there's not much design on it but yeah the molding of it makes up for it and yeah I think it looks really nice if you are wondering what this figure is standing on he's standing on this uh, turntable uh, base plate which does have some design on it you can spin it around and yeah nothing else too interesting to the uh, base plate but yeah aside from that uh, I believe that's pretty much it for the Iron Man Mark 15 fully armor up so overshine of this figure here so how do I think of him well I think the base figure itself I think he's really cool he's very detailed and he looks really good and he's pretty cool but uh, for the accessories themselves I'm not really a fan of the gauntlets and also the boots I don't really like them but uh, for the chrome chest plate and also the helmet I think it's pretty cool but it's just that the helmet it doesn't have the blue eyes which does kind of suck uh, but it's fine it works well enough 
so yeah so if you already have a, a lot of Iron Man suits then yeah I only recommend you getting like a few of these I don't recommend you getting the entire set and if you get a few of these you can use the helmet and also the chest plate to make your Iron Man figures look nicer and yeah I mean uh, if you are a new collector then yeah getting an entire set would probably be worth it because you don't have all of the Armand suits and uh, also if you want all of the accessories you can also get the entire set there will be a lot if you get the entire set I think the helmet here it's uh, very well designed and you know I think these two pieces here they are the highlight and you know uh, if you like them I think you should get them but not the entire set maybe just singles unless you are a new collector or you want all of the accessories so yeah if you want to buy a set here I'll put a link to you down in the description box below along with all my social media pages down in the description so if you like my channel make sure to subscribe right here and watch my videos right here so that's pretty much it for the video thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon